What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can step up filming your hunts to the next level. So let's get right into the video. All right, everybody. So the first thing that you guys can do to step up your filming level is to upgrade your camera. So um, I would recommend a DSLR because there are a ton of upgrades you guys can do on top of this. So, um, whereas a camcorder, you're sort of just stuck with a camcorder and you can't uh, really get much else for it. Whereas DSLR, you can get um, extra lenses and all that stuff for it. So, what this is, is a Sony A6400. It shoots 4K and um, it shoots 120 frames per second slow motion. And the lens is an 18 to 135 zoom lens. What will really make your footage look good, especially when zoomed in, is a lens with a very low aperture. So what that is, is basically like the blur um, behind the image. So if you're taking any B-roll of like leaves or just deer, it'll make the background really blurry. So this is a 3.5 to 5.6. The next thing I would recommend is a cage for your camera because this can really allow you to um, add different mounts and stuff everywhere. Um, as you can see, I have a little hot shoe mount there and another one on the top. And uh, you can really just add stuff anywhere you want. Make sure you get some extra batteries. And um, so yeah, that's the first thing I would recommend upgrading is your camera to something like that. Next, I guess would be a mic. So especially a wireless mic. So I have one on here. It is the Rode Wireless Go. Okay, so here is the mic. Um, this is the one that you clip on yourself. It, this is the receiver. Um, they're really small and this is all you need for this one. Others you have a little pack that you have to put on your hip and then run a little cord up to your chest. So you can add an extra mic onto this and just put this in your pocket if you want something even smaller so they don't see it. Um, I don't really mind. And then this is the other part. It's the transmitter, I think it's called. And uh, you just plug this right into your camera and then that's all you have to do. Yeah, I believe this lasts for like seven hours. At least that's what they say it is for. So back now to my good camera. The only thing you really lose with a wireless mic is uh, any other audio that's going on around you. It's more uh, just what you have to say. For example, this year I did not have a shotgun mic on the camera and there was a deer grunting and you can't hear it as well as I like and I feel like a shotgun mic would fix that. So that's the only thing you lose. Some cameras allow for a wireless mic and a shotgun mic, which that would be the best scenario. So um, anyways, moving on, um, next thing you're gonna wanna get is a good camera arm and fluid head. So this is a Muddy Outfitter camera arm. Um, it's wrapped in stealth strips uh, to make it quieter. And you're gonna want a good fluid head. Um, my good one's actually on this tripod right now. Basically what it does, it just makes your shot super smooth and it doesn't make it super choppy like some of the friction ones are. So. Um, that is um, the camera arm right there. And then this is the base for it. It goes just like this around the tree and then you put a strap on it. And then this part slides right into there. Um, it is pretty bulky and what you're gonna wanna look for in a camera arm is some adjustability as far as leveling goes. So there's these two little um, clamps, I guess you could call them, right here that you loosen up and then you t tilt this either way. And a big thing you wanna look for is just make sure that your horizon is level. And um, then there's this big screw right here and you just screw that um, either way and it levels it up and down. So um, there's that. And then the strap for that camera arm is just a ratchet with two loops on the end. Um, make sure you do it quiet, obviously. So the next piece of gear that you should pick up is a GoPro. Uh, this is a super nice for a second angle. 
and sort of a last resort for if you miss the shot uh, on camera with your main camera, you can cut to this. The only thing about these is the battery dies super quick and it's hard to keep them charged in the winter. So um, a lot of times that is not really an option just because it dies super quick. Some people even use uh, another big camera like the one I'm filming on right now as a second angle. So if you want to really step up your game, uh, use one of those. Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot harder the more advanced equipment you have. This is with a shotgun mic, and so now I'm gonna switch over to my DSLR with the wireless mic and show you guys what a difference it makes. In case you guys were curious, this is the setup I was just filming on. And um, as you can see, the quality um, from that to this is quite a big difference. This is with a shotgun mic. This is with a shotgun mic. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we'll see you guys next time.